top secret stuff today, gang. I'm on a hunt. Gold, jewels, coins, rubies, statues, all of it. Now, my name actually is Indiana. And if I happen to marry a man named Jones, you can guess what my name might be. And today, I am seeking the mysterious Fen treasure. Ever heard of it? Shame you could join the hunt, or any one of the hunts, because here are seven treasures that you could still find. Number seven, the King John Jewels. King John here was famous for, shall we say, collecting jewels, gold goblets, and pretty much everything shiny. And sometime in 1216, he was on his way to Bishop's Lynn, now known as King's Lynn in Norfolk, with all of his shiny possessions. However, he contracted dysentery and decided to turn around and head back to Lincolnshire. John took the longer and safer route around the wash, but his baggage and crown jewels went across the marshes. Bad move. His wagons were too slow for the incoming tide. John's soldiers drowned and the treasure was lost. And if you happen to live nearby, you can do like these guys right here. What do you have to lose? Number six, the golden owl. This one is French and is originally called La Chouette d'Or. Actually though, the owl statue is not really golden, it's bronze. A guy named Max Valentin buried it in April 1993 and left a series of 11 clues for everyone who wants to try to find it. If they do, they can trade it for a prize, which originally was 1 million francs. Now some people came very close to finding it actually. Valentin noticed, while checking if the owl was still in place, some disturbed ground nearby. However, some treasure hunters blew up a church, thinking the owl was hidden underneath it. They were mistaken. Sadly, Valentin died in 2009, but his treasure hunt still goes on. Number five, the treasure of Lima. In the 16th century, the Spanish defeated the Incas and took control of Lima. Now, defeated is a polite way of saying what the Spanish actually did to the Incas. Now, up to the 19th century, they had gathered an enormous amount of treasure there, now estimated to be worth 160 million pounds. Now, Lima was at the precipice of revolt in 1820, and the treasure was to be transported to safety in Mexico in the charge of Captain William Thompson. Apparently, the sight of all the jewels and not one, but two, life-size gold statues of Mary and baby Jesus overwhelmed the morals of Captain Thompson, and he headed for Cocos Island, where he supposedly buried the treasure. However, Thompson's ship was then captured, and in return for his life, Thompson was to lead the Spanish to the treasure. Instead, he escaped into the jungle and was never seen again, just like the treasure. Number four, Oak Island. Let's go to Oak Island, Canada, just off Nova Scotia, the location of the Money Pit which has attracted treasure hunters for centuries. Reports from the Money Pit speak of artifacts buried as deep as 100 feet. Critics say it's just natural phenomena, but the deeper one digs, the more the pit floods. And when they put red paint in the shaft, they found it in three different exit holes around the island. But what treasure is actually down there? Who buried it in the first place? We don't actually know. Maybe a pirate treasure or Marie Antoinette's jewels. Maybe even the Holy Grail. No one actually knows, but people still go looking. Really, it's all based on speculation. Look it up. Number three, San Miguel. Here's a nautical treasure for you. The San Miguel was a Spanish ship in the early 18th century. Now, Spain needed money and assembled a small fleet to carry said money from the New World to Spain. Wishing to avoid pirates, they set sail from Cuba just before hurricane season and sailed right into a hurricane. Well, at least they didn't meet any pirates. The ships of the caravan sunk though the Spanish managed to eventually salvage around half of the treasure. The San Miguel was never found though, and as a lighter and faster ship, was presumed to be carrying great riches, as it could run away from any pirates quite quickly. But did it separate from the fleet before the storm? Did it get away? Whatever happened, it's one of the richest treasure ships never found. Number two, El Dorado. Who doesn't know the legends of the Golden Man, which is what El Dorado actually means, or the Golden One? the leader of the Muisca tribe, happily throwing gold and other treasures into Lake Guadavita to honor the gods and doing it while himself dusted in gold because, well, that's how you do these things. But the legend could be reality. The Spanish tried draining the lake in 1545 and they even found gold, though they only lowered the water level slightly. Others tried similar approaches. Heck, Walter Raleigh's son died during Walt's search for El Dorado. And in 1911, the entire lake was finally drained but the mud on the ground hardened in the sun, trapping whatever treasure there may have been. But if you can find it, then the myth will become reality. Number one, the Fenn treasure. Forrest Fenn, a millionaire art collector, was diagnosed with cancer in 1988. So he decided 
he would hide a treasure chest containing gold nuggets, jewelry, and a jar with his autobiography somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. Now he survived the cancer but still hid the treasure and he published a book with a poem that will hopefully one day lead treasure hunters to find his legacy. Many have tried and as you all guessed, none have succeeded. But if you want to try it yourself, check out the description box below to read the poem. I imagine I will see you there, along with my golden owl. Now if you'd like to go on a different hunt, click here to see some lost cities, and click here to learn all about London. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next week with another list.